last line of defense on any pressurized system is a pressure relief valve. Pressure relief valves are the critical infrastructure necessary to protect against overpressure events. Additionally, as many pressure relief valves are installed throughout a typical plant, it is paramount these devices are regularly maintained and monitored. The monitoring and maintenance of pressure relief valves can be difficult as valves are typically located in difficult to access areas such as at the highest point of a pressurized system. As a result, analog monitoring, testing, and maintenance can be difficult and expensive to conduct as well as pose an operational risk to operators and service personnel performing these tasks. Today, many plants rely on manual rounds by operators with portable testers to try and verify if a valve is releasing or leaking due to an overpressure event. Maintenance of these pressure relief valves may require the removal of the valves for repair and test as well as the potential need for scaffolding, cranes, and many man hours adding up to high cost and substantial occupational risk. Reducing the frequency and duration of these field activities will reduce costs and improve safety. It is not uncommon for 20% of PRVs in a plant to be leaking at any one time, and this can be due to seeding surface damage caused during an overpressure event and or infrequent maintenance. It is often difficult to know when and why the valves are leaking even upon inspection of components. In effect, overpressure events occur more often than we realize, and the understanding of the event is unclear with traditional methods of monitoring. There can be serious consequences to undetected overpressure events such as Emissions due to releases and leaks can lead to fines and lawsuits. Production and energy losses can cost millions of dollars. Damage to pressure relief valves can compromise the reliability of systems and safety issues related to unreported near-miss events. Monitoring and recording these relief events can help provide a better understanding of the events and further provide details necessary for safety failure analysis, ultimately improving system and PRV reliability resulting in reduced emissions and increased profit. Having real-time information of the pressure relief valve release, along with process data and maintenance history, will improve the accuracy of failure analysis and promote real-time troubleshooting. What is the maximum distance the transmitter can be located from the gateway? For wireless heart protocol, the rule of thumb for a standard line of sight antenna is 2,320 feet or 707 meters, as illustrated here. However, because these devices are also signal repeaters, the distance can be extended from one device to another, making its way to the gateway. How do you calculate the volumetric flow with the DP transmitter? By measuring the differential pressure of the valve's inlet to the valve's dome, we can calculate the lift of the valve. By knowing the lift of the valve, as well as the valve's orifice size, the volumetric flow can be determined. Have wireless transmitters been used in offshore applications? Yes, wireless heart has been in use for over 14 years and we have installations offshore in many applications including PRV monitoring. How many valves with transmitters are allowed per gateway? Currently, you can have 100 devices per gateway. However, future technology, this will increase to 200 devices. The beauty of wireless heart technology is that it's completely scalable and in the event you are out of capacity, another gateway can simply be added to increase the device limit. How will the system work with several PRVs and acoustic transmitters located on the same header? In installations where several PRVs with acoustic transmitters are releasing to the same discharge header, there is a potential for a transmitter to pick up the acoustic signal of another valve that is relieving. However, the Rosemont 708 also includes a temperature sensor in the acoustic probe to help pinpoint which valve is relieving. Will typical acoustic noise in a system indicate a valve is relieving? During commissioning, there is a step to capture the installation's acoustic baseline. This is done using the PlantWeb Insight PRV app. Once configured, any deviation from this baseline is considered a potential release event, which could be the result of a valve relieving or a valve leaking.